What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim. Going to be playing a game on PTCGO today, and today I am going to be playing DeAndre Holmes' top 16 deck from the Portland Regional Championships. Found this online. He had used a Misty playmat, one of my Misty playmats from the Etsy store for the tournament. So shout out to DeAndre for representing Tricky Jim out there. Appreciate it and. Also, just for playing a super sweet deck. If I could find it, it's uh, in here somewhere. There it is. This is a pretty sweet Zorark deck. I'd never seen anything like it before. It aims to get a very early uh, either Let Loose Marshadow or a red card, and then delinquent your opponent afterwards just to leave them with a hand of one. And then you can peeking red card to check it and just make sure that they are dead drawing. So uh, DeAndre had made a couple suggestions of three cards that he thought that he would change about the list. I made two of those changes. So we'll We'll see how the deck runs. But he said in the comments of the thread that he ends up getting the turn one red card like 100% of the games. Then he said he gets the turn one red card and delinquent like 70% of the game. So it should do what it's supposed to do quite a bit. We'll see here. Looks like we were playing against a Rotom deck. All right. So we do have the Floatstone, which is very good for us. We also have Skyfield, which is also very good for us. We have the level ball here, so I will start off by going and getting, let's see, we could get ourselves like a, a an egg and then like computer search that away, but I feel like that's probably not necessary. We'll just go and get a Zerua and then we will computer search away the Cynthia and the Zorark for like a Shaman and we're just gonna, we're gonna go like that, I guess, because we want to be turbo, so let's go. We're gonna get that. Then we are gonna to try to get the red card or the let loose Marshadow here. I guess like we could let loose, but I feel like I should grind a little bit more like uh, in order to kind of ensure that I get some things. He said he wanted a third shame and I got the third shame in here. So let's go ahead, set up for five and see where we go from there. That'd be great. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Hey, check that out. We are too good at this game. All right. So I think what we want here is, do we like let loose? Let's see, this thing's got a retreat of one. This thing's got a retreat of one and one of that one in the active. I think we, um, we could let loose, probably let loose instead of actually red card. I think that probably makes sense. So let's just, uh, uh, is there any benefit to, to either your opponent? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we want to let loose because that'll give us a chance to maybe go get the delinquent, right? Uh, with a different set of cards in our hand because we're not getting it with just that red card there. I like that option. That's interesting. Okay, so we're just going to let loose. Maybe a battle compressor would help us find the delinquent earlier as well. It's like an option. Hey, check that out, dude. We're, we got it. We got delinquent. We did it. We did the combo. This is insane. All right. So now we get to, oh, let's just traders here. Let's just set up a little bit more. And we've got the peak. Oh, we got the Wabo combo. That's what he called it in the comments. This is absolutely insane. I can't believe we're about to do this. This is doing way too much, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go. We got ourselves another setup. Let's go. And we're going to draw some more cards here. Um, but first what we want to do, because I'm about to delinquent. So I wanted to like, you know, kind of spread myself as thin as possible. One, two, three, four, five, and I can have eight with Skyfield, eight bench Pokemon. So that's insane. Um, because I'm about to delinquent away the, the stadium. Uh, so I want to, let's see, I want to go get all those things. Let's put the uh, boom, boom, boom. All right, cool. Let's do that. Sure, I'm going to get myself a supporter card. So delinquent, yeah, very good. And then <laughs> my opponent's going to have to discard three cards. <laughs> oh, this is so hilarious. All right. Um, and then we're going to do, uh, sure, we're going to put the egg down. And then we're going to like set up one more time. Yeah, that's really cool. And draw a little bit more cards. And then we're going to, you know, limit my opponent to a hand of one. And it's going to be hilarious. Delinquent, get out of here. Okay, so I'm going to discard like the egg and probably like two shamans off of this. That'd be pretty sweet. And when they leave themselves with one card hand, we're going to peek it just to make sure that it's not anything good and it's going to be hilarious. Let's go. Show me what you got. 
to rescue stretcher. Um, let's see, done. All right, do I want them? Can I look at your discard pile? I want to look at your discard pile uh, to see if you could rescue stretcher for anything. Uh, would you like your opponent to shuffle it? No, I want them to keep that rescue stretcher. That's fine. Yeah, they ain't got nothing in that in that discard pile to rescue stretcher for, so we're cool. Okay, and then I'm just going to pass to my opponent and see if they can do anything. Now, if they do have three item, you know, three tool cards in the discard pile there. Oh, they got the field blower off the top. That is just, come on, like the field blower off the top. I guess I probably should have retreated into the Zeru. I was just like, they got a one card hand. There's no way to get field blower off the top, but I guess they did, so that's fine. Uh, I do think that we have, do we have a Guzma in the discard pile? We don't. Okay, that's fine then. I do have the DCE on the bench, so I could retreat with a DCE if it comes down to that. I think I'm just going to start off with the Cynthia, though, and then just go from there and see if I can't draw into some other things. I also am going to actually propagate that egg and then go Ultra Ball for, let's see, yeah, we're going to Ultra Ball away these guys, get myself another Zorark so I could trade twice. Not that, we want Zorark, good. And we're going to trade twice off of the Cynthia to see if we can't get ourselves a float stone, which I should have had. Oh, I should have had it. That's fine. I should have just retreated into the dude, but it's all good. Let's see, we got Skyfield. Oh, we can we could just make the dream happen again. All right, let's just uh, let's just start trading. Sure, I'm gonna trade away a. Oh, we got the Guzma for next turn if we need it. That's cool. We could trade away that Colrus. I got Verse Seeker in my hand. That's all good. Cool. And we got Rescue Stretcher and Choice Band. I probably won't need that Choice Band. And they got Rescue Stretcher. I could go Rescue Stretcher for a Shaman. That's fine if I wanted to. Let's do that. And then I have I used my Comp Search yet? Yes, I have. So let's see here. I guess we're looking for a DCE. And yep, that's cool. So let's just do that. We're going to Ultra Ball away the Guzma and the Zorark there. I'm going to get ourselves a Zerua. Yep, we're going to do that and get ourselves another Zerua here. And then we're going to rescue Stretcher for a Shaman back. And then I'm going to try and draw into the DC. This seems like so irresponsible, but it's cool. This is like a ton of fun. Not going to lie. I can't imagine doing this to an opponent. Um, yeah, let's set up short. Sure. And we're going to go like that. Boom. See if we can't get the DC. Got it. Sweet. So that's pretty dope. I could just retreat that way. I'll trade one more time first, though, just to see. Sure. Let's just trade. Trade away that level ball. I don't really need it. Fine. See if I get the float stone. I don't. That's fine. We're just going to retreat the hard way and then knock this thing out. Great. And yep, that's cool. Riot is beating. Sure. And we knock that thing out. Now, I know I could have been, like, propagating for all my trades, but, like, I don't know. At a certain point, I don't want some of this stuff in my hand. So I am aware that I can do that. It's just, like, the level balls, things like that I don't necessarily need. I guess I could, like, grip the level ball and just hang on to it just in case. But, oh, they got a Sycamore. So let's see. They're off to the races here. We did get the turn one wombo combo, and then we also got the turn two knockout, but this could go poorly, I guess, if they are able to get you know all this stuff into their discard pile. I could red card and delinquent them again, uh, just, to make, <laughs> just to keep a mid check, right? Uh, get them back to a, a one card hand. I definitely can do that. So that's kind of a cool thing that I could do. Let's, uh, let's just do that. Sure, yeah, go shuffle draw four, dude. Yeah, like, get out of here. And then we're going to delinquent you again. And then we could red card you as well. Why not? We've only got 12 cards left in deck, so we have to be a little bit careful. I have the two rescue stretchers. Sure, I'm going to rescue stretcher. I'm going to shuffle three. I actually want to put these guys back into the deck. Sure. And I'll put... Uh, I'm going to put the Oranguru back in the deck to do that. Seems responsible. And then let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and we'll propagate that, sure. And we could trade for it, I guess. We'll trade. Um, eh, let's see. I want a delinquent. I know I'm going to delinquent, so let's see here. We've already traded once. No, we haven't traded that. Okay, we'll, we'll trade. Sure, we'll trade away that. See what we get here off our two cards. We've got the peaking red card. That's exactly what I wanted. Excellent. Thanks, deck. Here we go. Propagate. Give me that egg back. 
Then we can Ultra Ball for another Zoroark, and our board position is going to be looking pretty swifty. Not going to lie. All right, so we can get rid of that choice ban and the egg for sure. The egg was an addition that DeAndre said that he would have made afterwards. DeAndre didn't actually play the egg for the tournament, but you can see how useful the egg has already been. It's just been completely nuts. So let's see, we want to remove three things. We're going to remove, let's see, we got seven. Yeah, we'll just remove the two shamans. That's fine. So we're going to delinquent ourselves again. Uh, actually, well, delinquent my opponent, but then it's also kind of delinquenting myself because I get to remove my bench stuff. So that's pretty cool. Let's do it. Let's see. Discard three cards, dude. Let's do it. I guess that actually could be bad for me because my opponent could just discard like tools, right? Uh, but I think... Uh, yeah, we're going to remove our shamans, please. Get those out of here. And then we'll peek. We'll just make sure that that's not a good card. That you have. No, yeah, I'm cool with you just keeping that. Uh, would you like your opponent to shuffle the cards into their deck? No. All right, so let's see you do it again. Uh, and then we are just going to ride a speeding, knock this thing out. And the idea is that hopefully I could just bench my opponent before they get to draw any cards. We could see, oh, I never had this second flowstone on the deck, so that's good to know. But we could see just how insane this deck could be just completely limiting my opponent's options every single turn, trying to buy themselves turn with things like Guzma, just trying to stall me out, it's not gonna happen, just top deck that. So we're good to go here. And I'm not necessarily worried about like trading for cards right now because honestly, uh, yeah, uh, it, I just don't wanna deck out. So, you know, trades could get me to a situation where I deck out pretty quickly. But uh, how crazy is it that we could just take total command of the game here just on turn one right and make it so that my opponent just doesn't really have any options for anything to do they just go ahead and scoop we got the wombo combo that's insane deandre's zorark red card list completely nuts i did not think that this would be a thing that worked out honestly uh but i saw he got top 16 at the portland regional championships that's no joke so the deck had to be at least like moderately real. So I had to, had to give it a try. Uh, I know I haven't really done uh, any sort of results from the Portland Regionals yet. I was busy all weekend doing the base Neo tournament. Hopefully you guys all checked that vlog out. That was a lot of fun and shout out to everybody who participated. That was a great time. Uh, for sure. Uh, but also shout out to Jimmy Pendarvis, winner of the Portland Regional Championships, good friend of mine. We go way back. So shout out to Jimmy for his second regional win. It is uh, definitely a huge accomplishment for him. So great work. Uh, he played that Toad Zorark lock deck, like the Toad Zorark control deck, completely crazy just with the four DCE, and I don't even think the deck played any way to recover DCE, so it really just had the four DCE and hoped that you did not get removaled too many times. We're gonna play one more game with the Zorark red card list and see if we can win here, see if we can get 2-0 with Zorark uh, wombo combo. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, I love, I, honestly, pulling off combos and stuff is just like very, very fun, so. This is a, a good time for sure, even if you're just like grinding games on PTCGO, just to see if you can pull it off. And then if you can't, you're like, oh, sad, let's quit and roll another one. <laughs> so I see why people play like the Latias Donk deck, right? It's just exciting to see if you can pull the combo off. All right, we're gonna trainers mail. Come on, give me something. No, all right. This is one of those uh, games where you don't pull the combo off, all right? But uh, it's not, to say it might not, have, it could happen, I guess. I mean, I guess we could retreat the unknown. I actually kind of like that and then just farewell letter the unknown away. I don't think we should play the Skyfield yet. There's no real reason to. We definitely should red card. Let's just do that. Yeah, we just limit my opponent to a turn one, four cards. That seems really good. And then, sure, we play ourselves a... Uh, you know, we play one of those things, you know, that's going to get the special energy back. Special charge, that's it. Ooh, we got a rescue stretcher. You're telling me we could do it again. <laughs> let's, let's do it again. Let's well, unknown. All right, here we go. We get a farewell letter one more time. Dude, give me an ultra ball. Give me an ultra ball. Let's go. Come on. Ultra ball. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, you're testing me. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Look, Mom, we did it. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Let's do this thing. 
<laughs> oh, let's go. I have not even played a supporter card yet. We're going to go get ourselves a Shaman. And uh, let's go, Choice Band. I spoke too soon. I didn't believe hard enough. Let's go. Yes, set up for six <laughs> cards. I could still delinquent. It could still happen. All right, let's go. Trainer's Mail. Come on, come on. Uh, no, we've got a Verse Seeker. We've got a Colrus. Okay, so I think I actually might need to take the Colrus. And then what I might do, let's see, do I have any? I have only Guzma in the discard pile. I think I could just let loose and then see if maybe I just draw into, you know, the stuff I need there after I let loose. I kind of like that. Uh, just to give myself the opportunity of potentially hanging on <laughs> to, uh, of potentially getting a, uh, yeah, we're here for the wombo combo. Let's go for it. We need to just keep believing. If we've learned anything from playing this, we just need to believe a little bit harder. So we're going to shuffle that in, and then we're going to go, let's go. Marshadow, get it. Come on, let loose. Give me the delinquent. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have it. That's fine. Um, I could just, uh, I don't want to end though. This is horrible. I need to, oh uh, my gosh. All right, let's let's uh, let's just pass. And then hopefully my opponent doesn't have any other basics that I could just, you know, just bench them early. Uh, we're just going to go for that. So maybe we will still get there. We just need my opponent not to have any other basics or anything like that. And we'll be, we'll be good to go. So let's see, what do they got? They got a supporter. Uh, hopefully not. Uh, if this game goes into like any sort of longevity, like if this game goes long at all, I think we just definitely lose. But if we can bench them before they get up and rolling, then we win. And that's what DeAndre said in his post as well. He said this deck could beat literally anything, which is true. I mean, any deck, and they scooped. All right, so that's fine. We'll do one more game. They didn't want. They didn't want what the Rock was cooking there. They didn't. They didn't even want it. Not at all. And I don't blame them. Anybody like if I'm playing against a deck that's trying to like red card me to four, uh, I don't want anything to do with what they got going on over there as well. All right, one more game. One more game here, and we'll see if we could get the wombo combo one more time deandre said that he gets like the combo off with the peaking red card like 50 percent of the time and well yeah so we got the uh let's see we that time we just got the turn one red card he said he gets the turn one red card or the marshadow 100 percent of the time so we have gotten it two games and then he also said that he gets what the 70 percent. he gets the red card with the delinquent 70 percent. so we got a game one we didn't get a game two but Game two, I mean, we started with just an unknown, and we still almost made it happen. So that was pretty <laughs> fantastic, not going to lie. That was pretty pretty sweet. So we lost the coin flip, unfortunately. I think this deck definitely wants to go first, but, you know, we can't always get what we want, huh? Especially when we start Shaman. Sad. Now, we have the red card and the delinquent in our hand. Unfortunately, we have nothing else. So this is going to be a trainer's mail and prey kind of scenario that we got going on here. Oh, I thought I won. I thought my opponent won the flip. All right, let's see. So we want uh, none of that. <laughs> oh my gosh, how bad is this? Uh, I don't even know what like the correct call is here. Like the, none of these are usable cards for me. I feel like we get the rescue stretcher just in case like uh and then we have to delinquent for sure or we have to red card for sure and then we sit here just to pass it all right cool well we saw how flames the, <laughs> the deck was on that first game we were sitting there baking the cake we were making things happen and then we get hands like this it was just like ugh, gross uh, but with the trainer's mails, ultra balls, you know, anything can happen. We can make it work. What what are we even playing against? They got Evo sodas. They got psychic. Po oh, this is, yep, this is Trevenant. All right, this is going to be bad. This is going to be really, really bad, yeah. Especially if they got any sort of way to go uh, and retreat into this Trevenant and get themselves. Oh, they got a sick more. Okay, so this could be another quick l here i mean, honestly i don't think that i necessarily even want to see this oh they didn't get it so you're saying there's a oh baby let's go you're saying there's a chance i'll hang in there 
if we <laughs> if we can win this game uh, with a start like this, then uh, anything can happen. So I'm a believer. Let's make it work. I mean, honestly, I think we want to like sky return the shaman. We don't really want the shamans around. That's just like horrible. Uh, my opponent is just going ham. They're going in. They don't want to sit around and wait for me to set up. They definitely want to get Trevenants going. So uh, do they have the evolution or are they going to have to Ascension? Either way, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. So uh, they have a DCE on their Phantom, but they appear to not really have anything else going on. So they just have this guy. All I have to do is like 60 damage to this thing. Uh, and it's knocked out. So that would be great. However, it's just probably not going to happen. Uh, I could delinquent my opponent. That would be hilarious. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. But we'll see first. So I'm going to start off by trading away probably the Rescue Stretcher. It's like the only card in my hand that I can't play. So we'll do that. Great. And then <laughs> we're going to definitely delinquent my opponent for sure. Discard three cards, please. And then we're just going to pass. And next turn, we're going to lose some mean um, for, you know, some things back. Good. Get rid of that DC. I don't want you to have that. Cool. And then I'll just, uh, yep. I don't even think I want to put the Skyfield down yet. No, we want to wait until they play like a, another Dimension Valley. And then we will get rid of that other Dimension Valley with my Skyfield. We definitely want to continue, um, you know, with that whole thing. All they have is Tree Slam. So we have a shot here. We just need to get ourselves out of this horrible situation. Oh my gosh. And I do not want to, I do not want to let loose my opponent right now. They have a zero card hand. I have to feel like my situation is better than theirs. But let's trade away, I guess, the Ultra Ball. If I get Guzma, then the Ultra Ball's better. But yeah, I don't really. We'll trade that away, see what we get. We've got peeking a bunch of a bunch more trainer cards. This is kind of horrendous. I think I have to, I think I go for let loose next turn. We'll loose mean for the delinquent back. Um, that D, that Dimension Valley is not really doing him anything this turn, but um, yeah, we'll loose mean for the, sure, for the delinquent back, that's fine. Just get that, and then I can't, delinquent my opponent right now. I could delinquent my opponent next turn, so I think we just wait till next turn. And we don't want to give my opponent like more opportunities to get bench Pokemon uh, before I get to get bench Pokemon. I definitely want to play. Oh, we're going to need more Pokemon now. This is sad. Okay. So they got Trevenant Breakout. We're going to need to do 80 damage, which means we need like four bench Pokemon. And they are, oh, they have no problems just keeping the Shaman in the active as long as possible. Your mistake, dude. Uh, you're going to, let's see, end up getting Sky Returned. I bet. Bet. Bet we Sky Return. All right, let's go. So we are going to, there's no point in delinquenting. We're just going to Marsh Shadow here and then hope we draw into a DCE. Come on. Let's get it. Yes, I understand that my opponent's going to get a huge hand, and I understand that my hand's going to be small and wimpy. Oh, this is horrendous. <laughs> this is like the last thing we wanted. Uh, all right, sure. We're going to trade away that Ultra Ball there. That's fine. Okay. Hey, we got a DCE, though. All righty, then. Uh, we will put the egg into the active position, I think. Yeah, that actually seems fine. You're getting punished, sir, for your play there. Um, I think I actually don't want too many bench Pokemon, but I think I, the egg and the active seems fine. That way, if my opponent like attacks, then uh, they have to knock out the egg, um, unless they have like something like that. I don't want. I think I don't want that Zorark to be in the active and take more damage. I need that thing to kind of hang in there, because that is all I have. Giving my opponent the four cards though really hurts. We really wish we could have gotten that delinquent back or a supporter or something. Uh, it's, this is. Uh, it's just going to be a grinder. We can see how good Trevenant is. Aaron Tarbell got second place at the Portland Regional Championships with Trevenant. So shout out to Aaron as well for another solid finish with probably his favorite deck. 
Uh, you know, Trevenant, definitely a solid, solid deck there. They're going to end me here. They know that I have DC and Shaman in hand. They don't really want anything to do with that. They want me to have far less options, and that's understandable. Uh, but we did get a pretty solid hand back, but we are missing the DZ, which is a crucial part of that uh, hand there. That's beautiful trainer's mail artwork. Definitely love that. That is awesome. The alternative artwork there. Super, super cool. My opponent's still only able to have one Trevenant in play. So we just literally need to draw like anything. Looks like they're going to go get another Phantom though, so that's sad. But... It's all good. If we literally draw anything, if we just get anything going, we could make the dream work here. But it's looking like that might not be a thing that happens. Uh, Zorark just needs to get into the active position, needs a DCE, and then we're good to go. They are going to take their one prize on the egg here. It's fine. The egg goes into the discard pile. Honestly, I think I want nothing to do with that, uh, you know, with trading away that egg, though. I'm probably not going to be propagating that because I want to get rid of items, honestly. That just like clunks my entire deck up as these items. Okay, so this is a sad situation where we have to set up for one, but I think that we just have to do it uh, in order to give ourselves options to draw more cards and also do more damage. So then we are going to trade, yep, and we're gonna trade away the Sure, the Ultra Ball, I guess. Trade that away. Okay. Uh, we've got a Zerua and a Silent Lab, so that's not horrible. Uh, we'll ship this thing, see if we can get any... Nope, nothing. Just nothing. We're just sitting here doing absolutely nothing. That's just what we got going on here, so that's fine. Go ahead. And this is the way that... <laughs> Trevenant goes. I think, like, obviously we have a chance to beat this deck. We just have to get, we have to get the combo off early. We have to, like, set up quick. We can't just start, like, a horrendously dead hand like we had there. Um, my opponent is now just kind of got, you know, the game in their clutches. They kind of have everything that they need. Um, I don't think that I actually... And I, if I play the sound, I don't think I actually play the sound lab. I think we have to like just go for the let loose here and then just hope that we draw into some better stuff. So that is cool that we have the option to draw cards and also limit my opponent. But, you know, I mean, look, like we're not getting anything going here. So that's that's just fine. All right, trade. We're going to trade away the level ball, the red card, the level ball. Yeah, I don't know. Sure, level ball. And see if we can't get ourselves. Yep, yeah, nothing. Okay. And that's sad. <laughs> that's just sad. Computer search oh, is so bad when there is a trout in front of you. So that is uh, looking like this is probably just how it's going to go. My opponent's going to take a couple more prizes here. They got the Zerua. They got the Marshadow. I don't think that there's any way that I win this game at this point. I had the window there where I just needed to knock out this Trevenant. I didn't get it. And that's uh, that's pretty much game. So I'm going to tell my opponent that they have a good deck. Then I'm going to get out of here. Yeah, because there's no point. There's no point. I am going to try and get the combo off. Uno mas. One more time. All right, let's go. So we are going to see. I mean, there we had like two dead hands back to back, but it didn't really end up mattering. We had pure flames, pure fuego, uh, that first draw there with the... Uh, with the Rodom deck, and then we're gonna see if we can't finish things off on a positive. Can we get things off uh, on a good note here and kind of sign off with a dub? That'd be nice, uh, but I mean, expanded format just feels so degenerate sometimes. I mean, it's fun to play the degenerate deck, but then, you know, when you get out degenerated, it, it just like, it just feels, feels bad. Uh, I don't really love it. Expanded format's not my favorite, but it is, it's fun. I mean, you do have more combos, you have more, kind of viable decks, I think, than you have in current standard format. There's lots of viable strategies in Expanded. We got a much better start here. Two Zeru is in a shame, and I can rock with that. We also got the Sky Field, so that's pretty dope. And uh, I apologize, guys, if the uh, sound's still a little echoey. I need more of these. I need them, like, all over this small little room that I got, uh, except uh, they're kind of expensive, so I only got one wall of them right now. 
but I am working on getting more. I just need to place an order for them. I think like this wall, and they're not super expensive. They're just like more expensive than I want to pay for them. All right, let's go. We got uh, ourselves Skyfield, sweet, and then let's set up for two. Could be better. Yikes, but it's fine. Set up for two. All right, we've got ourselves an unknown. Sure, I'll bite. Let's see, the farewell letter has saved us before. Can it get us there again? Yes, it can. All right, so we've got ourselves another Ultra Ball. Let's go ahead and Ultra Ball away. Probably we want to Ultra Ball away the Zork and a Versus Seeker. I'm kind of cool with that, honestly. And then I think what we do is just get ourselves another Sham. Oh, we could let loose. Kind of like that. Yeah, let's just get that. So we'll... uh. I think we just let loose here. Like I don't, I don't have anything really. I mean, that or we set up for three. I feel like let loosing is good, and then just give myself a new hand, see if we can't. Like, I don't know. Oops, that probably wasn't the play. We probably wanted to keep the one Zorak there. That was sad. I think it was a little greedy going for the let loose, but I wanted it. I wanted it bad. All right, we got a Cynthia. That's fine. All right, buffs out. Never punished. Let's go. So I didn't get the wombo combo, but we did do okay. Uh, I wish I could like peeking red card my opponent. So like maybe we'll dig for that just to see like what their four card hand looks like and then maybe we can make their four card hand a little worse. But honestly, it's Night March. So like that might not happen. Um, let's, uh, um, let's see here. We need to get some stuff going next turn. I do have Rescue Stretcher for Zorark, so that's cool. We'll just wait and see. I don't think I grind any more this turn. I think I just wait and see what my opponent's got going on. Maybe they just dead drew, and maybe they ain't got nothing going on. I got the Skyfield. I got another Shaman. I got a Lele. Oh, they just scooped it up. And see, I mean, I can't blame my opponents. I am like... <laughs> I'm like red carding them turn one. And he probably just had a handful of night marchers and was like, I'm out. Ugh. You know, I think uh, that's probably what's happening most of the time where my opponents are just like quitting early. They're just like rage quits. They're like, no, this is sad. But you can imagine that happening in an actual tournament. You red card your opponent turn one and it's like, okay, fine. You got me. You got me, dude. Uh, definitely a frustrating deck to play against. My major concern with the deck is that I think that its its game plan is really in those first three turns, and if you just get those first three turns to go right, you could just win versus anything, but if they don't go the way you wanted to, then you might just lose to just about anything, because, uh, you know, without, like, the delinquent and the red card and all that, it's kind of, like, just a... A less powerful Zorark deck. It doesn't really have all the other tricks that a, a typical Zorark deck would have. So we've definitely got it. Like we've got all the juice here. This is fantastic. I think that we're just going to go ahead and uh, sure. Yeah, we're going to Ultra Ball here uh, for a Shaman is definitely what we're going to do. So we're going to get ourselves a Shaman, keep the comp search in my hand. We're going to red card my opponent, put that unknown on the float. There he goes, and then, yep, definitely red card, definitely shuffle draw four. 100% of the games, wasn't lying. Yep, we definitely red card turn one on awful lot, so that's pretty sweet. We'll draw to six, see if we can't get a stadium and a delinquent. We've got a stadium, we've got no delinquent so far. I've got, oh, I've got a comp search. We can make it happen, but we don't have anything else. So I think that we actually just set up Let's try, yeah, let's let's farewell letter first here. And then I could, let's see, we got Skyfield. Skyfield's better than the Silent Lab because I don't actually really want that Silent Lab right now. So we could do that. And then we can comp search for another Shaman, I guess. Like we put that down and then we can comp search away uh, the egg and the Silent Lab. I'm actually cool with that. We can just like grind a little bit more. And then at the end of the day, if I don't draw anything, I can just let loose too. That's fine. Sure, we'll do that. Set up for four more cards. Let's get it. Come on. We got ourselves a level ball. Cool. Some verse seekers. Let's level ball first and get ourselves another Zerua just to stabilize a little bit. And then we want the delinquent, I guess, off of this trainer's mail. But honestly, like the delinquent is not that good because we don't actually have anything. You know, so I think that we just let loose and see a new hand. This hand is actually dead, as funny as that is. And I think that we leave the trainer's mail in the 
deck potentially because it gives us more things to draw off of the let loose. So I think that we just do that. Um, sure, yeah, let's ship it. Let's go, let loose, four different cards. Oh, honestly, pro play, this is perfect. Okay, let's get the delinquent, come on. Delinquent, no, ultra ball. We've got ultra ball though, so we're still live, that's fine. I uh, will get that ultra ball, and then I'm going all in. I'm going 100%, I think. That, uh, no, that seems like very aggressive. We probably don't need to do all that. Uh, I mean, I could ultra ball, ooh, have I played a supporter yet? No, I haven't. Oh yeah, we got it, so let's propagate. And then we're just gonna go get ourselves Ultra Ball away the sky field and the egg, and we're gonna Lele. Give us a Lele. Yeah, we just go Lele for that delinquent, yo. Let's get it. All right, so we're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yo, up, delinquent, please. Uh, and <laughs> we did it. All right, and then we get to set up as well. So this is pretty nuts. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Set up for six, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we got the combo. We got the wombo combo. My opponent like... <laughs> All right, I'm having fun again. This is fun. Yeah, definitely into it. it opponent's going to discard three cards and then I can have them shuffle draw the last one. We want to get rid of Shaman. Shaman and the other Shaman. Good. And then uh, let me see that last card. <laughs> that's fun. That's fine, you can keep that. Uh, no, I don't want them to shuffle draw that. All right, go ahead, your turn, fair game, right? Uh, that is too ridiculous. Look at this deck, that is too, too crazy. Honestly, if that was like a sick of war, I would've been salty, but now we're just in control. My opponent is starting on such a disadvantage. It's not even remotely fair. It doesn't even matter what deck my opponent is playing. I am just going to be able to have an opportunity to potentially bench them uh, almost no matter what. So I don't actually think that I want to trade away. Yeah, I'll trade away the floatstone. That's fine. And then we knock out this Giratina. It is weak to dark. We're good to go there. Uh, we'll definitely Colrus just to give myself a bigger hand and more kind of hand control. And we can see just the disparity, uh, you know, between my hand and their hand now. Like even if they were to draw out of this. Uh, just this crazy red card combo, then I could just like red card delinquent them again and peeking red card. I have that entire combination just in my hand again, and I could just limit them to a random one card hand uh, again and again and again. And that is just completely insane. The board control is nuts. The Just everything about this deck is completely, completely crazy. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a great way to deal like 130 damage. So that's like a little bit... Uh, eh, but it's okay. You could actually do a ton of damage if you just, you know, put the sky field down. Zorg actually does damage based on your bench Pokemon Andrew. You know you could, you know you could do that. It's an option. I got a Versus Seeker. I think I'm just going to knock out the, let's just trade a couple times, see if we can get ourselves another. Um, I actually don't want to trade any of these things, so I kind of messed up. That's fine. I should have propped. Should have propagated, but honestly, I'm getting kind of lazy. I think that's like the major concern. All right, yeah, let's let's not be lazy. Okay, I'm gonna prop and then trade away the egg. Sure, and then uh, yeah, we'll draw two more cards. Don't want to deck out, but you know we definitely want to have every option in our deck at our disposal. So we've got another delinquent. They've got a zero card hand, so it doesn't really matter. Sure, uh, we'll just knock out the Oracorio. But these things both are not going to get knocked out in one hit. Don't worry, guys. Andrew's brain gets like really big. He figures it out. He's just like, Boo! So we do have to be a little bit uh, careful here to make sure that, uh, you know, my opponent doesn't top deck anything. But if they do top deck something, even just a grass energy and they can, <laughs> they can Tempest. But, oh, they got the Sycamore off the top. Okay. I don't think that they're actually going to be able to like uh, power up and attack this turn though. And they probably play things like uh, Max Elixir. They probably play cards like, um, I guess Max Elixir, yeah, is probably the main one that they play in order to get their energy into play. Uh, they missed another, uh, they missed a uh, Stormy Winds there. So that's a little bit tough for them, uh, but they're probably going to plan on using this Latias here 
in order to get as many energy cards as they can into play. And I can't knock out that Latias in one turn. Yes, you can. I can one hit KO that Shaman though. So that is looking nice. Um, with the Fury Belt on the Ray, that, no, that means that it's definitely not happening. They got Tempest, but they are going to be sad when they see that that Tempest is uh, definitely short-lived. That's just uh, not something that's sticking around. So sorry, guy. All right, we've got ourselves another Zorak. That's pretty rad. You are getting red carded again, sir. Yes, that is not okay. You cannot Tempest. That, you cannot pass go. Very bad. And then we are going to also put their stadium into play. Uh, I know, broken heart. Uh, we're going to propagate. I'm going to learn from my mistakes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to actually like propagate every turn probably like, a, like I should. And then, uh, I don't know, I don't really have anything else that I want. Oh, I could knock out. I'm like talking all sorts of crazy mess. Like I can't take one hit knockouts. I can take one hit knockouts um, with Skyfield. Duh. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. I can take one hit knockouts with Skyfield. But that means that I can't. I think I'd rather just like limit them to a zero card hand then. Uh, then, you know, I, I don't have Field Blower. Like that thing's not getting knocked out this turn. I can only do, I guess, 210. It's got an effective 220 hit points right now. So I could Guzma. I guess, and knock out that Shaman. That's like my other option right now. Uh, or I could like go and actually, let's let's level ball. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's level ball. Sure. Um, let's see if I could get, I actually could just like go ham and probably just take knockouts at this point. Let's see. So we got five on the bench. Yeah, I could just, I could just go ham. That's fine. I could just knock out that Rayquaza over there, and then I can Guzma and knock out Shaman for game. There's, like, no reason not to just do that. So that's, like, completely insane, and I just am, you know, uh, kind of a space cadet for not realizing that that was a, an out that I had. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do DC over here, and then uh, we'll just Versus Seeker for our Guzma. Sure. And then I'll knock out that other Ray, and then I can knock out the Shaman for game. So that's pretty rad. Cool. We'll knock that guy out. And then I've got enough bench Pokemon here for sure. Uh, I don't think that I need to trade too many times, but sure, I'll trade a couple times. It's just like correct. I should just do that. Just be good. All right. You know, just have like the, yeah, we'll prop again. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. I want to have like my entire, you know, deck at my disposal for the final turn of the game. Now, they could, like, end me, I guess. I'll take a look at their hand with Peking Red card. I don't really think that there's any reason not to, so that's cool. And then I guess I can... Uh, I could, like, Rescue Stretcher for another card back, but I don't really need to blow my Rescue Stretcher right now. I think I would rather just, like, propagate... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine just putting the egg on the bench. I'm cool with that. Sure. And we can see definitely that egg is like a is kind of like a must have. So we've got what? We're at eight Pokemon on my bench. We're doing Riotus beating nine times eight. That's a knockout. That's crazy. All right, let's peek. Let's take a look at your hand there, dude. Uh, I've got a Colrus, a Verse Seeker. Yeah, yeah, Floatstone. Sure. Um, yeah, I'd like you. Would you like your opponent to shuffle in their hand and draw that many cards? Yes, I would. That's like a pretty good four card hand. I want to see if we can get you a little bit of a worse four card hand. And then. Uh, Oh, you thought that, I don't know, maybe maybe your four-card hand could have been a little bit better. I don't know. We're going to save that Rescue Stretcher, though, so even if my opponent, like, knocks me out, like, we should be good to go. We got some Rescue Stretchers. We've got everything. We only need to knock out the Shaman. Uh, there's almost no way, I think, that they could stop me from taking that Shaman. We can see, like, this is a learning curve for me. I just was spaced it. I was like, man, yeah, we're, like, stuck at 120. <laughs> damage uh just not true skyfield i just completely forgot about skyfield so that's pretty rad yep this zorak deck can hit 210 damage it's turbo zorak deck it's been a while since i've played one of these to be honest i'm just so used to the standard zorak decks where you're just like hard capped at 120 damage i'm just like sitting there thinking to myself like man we don't play like uh we don't play anything to stop that uh now this is unfortunate my opponent's got the pseudo wudo uh which obviously makes a lot of sense uh but i um I should be good. I should just be able to uh, see. And we're also going to get rid of the probably the Marshadow is fine. Like we could just get rid of that Marshadow. Sure. Um, 
Let's see, so if we have a full bench, we're doing two, four, six, eight, and then the choice band, 110. So we can easily just uh, take care of that shaman there. Unless my opponent has a way to get that shaman out of play, then we just got game with choice band knockout on the shaman. And that's the reason that we went ahead and knocked out the Rayquaza while we had the chance, is so that we would leave the shaman on the bench for a knockout there. And we could just see how much control we had over that game the entire way. Uh, there really wasn't anything that my opponent can do. We just jumped out of the gate so, so fast. And we did the combo one time. And then we took six prizes really, really quick. So good game to my opponent. Uh, definitely a crazy deck. Shout out to DeAndre for playing this awesome list to a top, six, top 16 finish at the Portland Regional Championships. Definitely a ton of fun to play. Definitely suggest trying it out. Uh, this list is two cards off the list he actually played. Uh, he suggested from his original list to like add in, I think like another peaking red card, add in another shaman. And uh, it was like one other change. So I like made two of those changes. Like I said, looking at my phone to see if I can find it. But yeah, he said he wanted to take out this Rosic, take out one Rescue Stretcher, and take out an Unknown. For Shaman, the prop Propagation ex Execute, and the Peaking Red card. I didn't add the Peaking Red card, the third Peaking Red card in. Uh, you know, I was just a little bit skeptical if he needed three, but definitely was really good uh, as far as the lock goes. I mean, both the times that we got the Peaking Red card, we didn't actually need it. Their hand was dead already, but I imagine sometimes if you get them to shuffle draw four, they're going to have one card that's good and they're going to hang on to it when they, uh, you know, when they eventually get delinquent in there. So this is DeAndre's list. Check it out. Uh, like I said, it's got a couple changes that he suggested to it, but otherwise definitely a solid deck. Really, really cool to play. Uh, and uh, yeah, so anyways, expanded format, pretty degenerate. I uh, hope you all like the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell. Let me know what do you guys think of Zorark red card in the comments below. Make sure to check out the Etsy store and the Patreon stuff in the description below as well. Peace.